I'm Desmond Yip. I'm the Clinical Director of Medical Oncology at the uh, Canberra Hospital in the ACT. Um, I'm also a, a, a Senior Staff Specialist in Medical Oncology. I started uh, doing oncology training uh, in the early 90s. Um, so back then, um, GI cancer was actually a very unpopular specialty. There, there wasn't actually much available uh, back then. We basically had one drug, 5-fluorouracil, uh, for, for treating uh, patients with this condition. But around that time, uh, there were um, oncologists who were coming back from overseas, uh, namely Mike Finlay and um, Stephen Clark, who are both uh, uh, AGITG members. They'd just been doing training at the Royal Marston Hospital. And um, they brought back uh, some uh, new regimens which were being used in cancer types that we weren't really treating in Australia. So that was quite a revelation because I worked at uh, Westmead Hospital at that time and also after that Royal Prince Albert Hospital. And we were just starting some clinical trials at that time uh, using new agents like arunatika and oxaliplatin uh, in, in gastrointestinal cancers. And um, Stephen actually advised me at that time that I, I should go into uh, GI oncology because it was an area that no, not many people were interested in, but he could see from his time at the Marsden um, that there were new drugs coming through and that the area would be changing uh, shortly. And I, I took his advice and that's how I, I've, I've uh, become a, a GI cancer uh, uh, specialist. I think what's happening in GI cancer is the developments are still uh, um, going on and we're improving the survival of patients with this condition uh, year by year as new, new drugs come through and uh, the AGITG um, is uh, committed to um, you know, doing clinical trials and research in this area to forward our knowledge uh, of uh, treating cancers in this area and we are improving the outcomes of patients uh, with GI cancers so there's always hope you know, down, down, down the line, you would have been diagnosed with this condition.